Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do a little short video um, since Thanksgiving is coming up soon. I know this isn't a turkey, but one of my favorite ways to make a turkey is to put it on the grill. Um, this year I'm actually going to try to sous vide it first. I haven't done that with a whole turkey yet. I've done it with uh, whole chickens, um, spatchcock style, which I'm going to show you how to spatchcock a, a large chicken today, and you can do the same concept with a turkey. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. This is a big uh, Kirkland Costco chicken, about uh, five, five pounds or so. Um, so you'll get the concept of how you can do this with the turkey by me showing you how to do this today. It's really hard to cook a turkey um, to where everything is cooked to where it needs to be uh, by cooking it all at once whole. Either your white meat's going to be overcooked and dry or your dark meat's not going to be cooked enough. So I'm going to show you how spatchcocking can actually help you cook your turkey pretty, pretty well all around. So I'll be right back. Let me get this out of the packaging, wash it up a little bit and I'll take a quick minute. All right, I got it all cleaned chicken. up. I got the guts out of it and um, my hands are washed clean and got a pretty, like I said, this is a pretty big chicken. So you can practice on a chicken a couple times before the big day for Thanksgiving if you want to, um, or you can do a smaller turkey, but um, it's pretty easy. I mean, you just take your whole turkey and what you want to do is you want this to lay out kind of flat when you're cooking it so that the breast meat and the thigh meat and the legs all kind of cook evenly. So what we're going to do to achieve that is we're going to flip this over on its stomach. So we got the backbone facing us. You can see that we've got the backbone and the wings are kind of, the legs are pointed towards us. And all you're going to do, is you can either take a sharp knife or a set of um, poultry scissors, either however you want it. And sometimes it's, uh, you know, People don't use a knife because they don't want their knife to get um, dull from the bones. But um, and what you do is, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a nice clean line on both sides of the spine. So you can start on either side. I usually start on the right side. And usually I take this tail piece here that usually your tail feathers are on. And I just go right to the side of that. And I run right up straight to the back. line. So just, just pretty much just right along the spine and going all the way up to the top and cutting it perfect all the way through. And then you can either try to do it from this side. I usually turn my chicken around when I do the other side because I like having the spine on the same side on both ways. And I just kind of grab the neck and hold it up. Gives me a little bit more leverage and just go right along that spine again. It gets a little tough when you get down here by the thigh bone. But once you get through that, then you can just get right through. And that's it. You just remove the backbone. You can toss it. You either throw it in the garbage or you can make stock out of it. A lot of people will save the bone. Your breast cavity here is all exposed. You've gotten rid of that backbone, but it still won't lay out flat because the breastbone's intact and it's kind of holding the chest in a certain way. So what you want to do is take your sharp knife and just kind of push it right down in the middle, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be all the way through. You don't want to cut it in half. Flip it back over and then just kind of push it down in the middle and this will make it flatten right out. And then you see you can tuck your uh, wings underneath and then push it down. And now as you can see, that chicken is going to lay pretty flat when we're cooking it. And what that'll do, like I said, it'll allow your different white meat, your dark meat, all to kind of cook evenly. So you'll get a nice even cook the whole way through. It won't dry out your white meat. It won't undercook your dark meat kind of want it to be all cooked and done at the same time. So that's how easy it is to spatchcock a chicken. I know a lot of people, once they first uh, hear that word, they don't, they don't really know what it is, what it means, but uh, it's really easy to, um, to do. Once you learn how to do it, probably won't cook chicken any other way. I, 
unless you're putting on a rotisserie um, I don't see a reason to keep a chicken or a turkey whole um, just because of the fact that you're not gonna benefit any anyway just maybe the way it looks but I'd rather it cook evenly all the way through than have it look a certain way so hope this video helps you guys out that's it for this one I'm gonna go ahead and do another video right now to show you how we're gonna cook this up so look out for that video make sure you like this video hit the uh, bell for notifications for more videos and subscribe follow us on our Facebook group our Facebook page and on Instagram and I'll see you on the next video